Welcome to my Flex 3 Drive assembly video. In this video, I'm going to cover mounting your E3D hot end to your Flex 3 Drive extruder and also mounting the NEMA 17 motor to your extruder as well. The reason that I'm making this video is because there are no instructions included with the Flex 3 Drive and there are also no instructions available online anywhere. Because of that, I thought this would be useful to some people, so I decided to make this video. The first thing that we are going to do is mounting the E3D hot end to the Flex 3 Drive extruder. Remove these four screws. I already removed three of them just to make the video quicker. And then slide the bottom part of the extruder and remove it from the top two parts of the extruder. After that, find these three sunken screws and then remove these three screws as well to remove the part that we will mount the hot end to. Now, I mount your hot end to the part that we just removed. But there is one thing that you should pay attention to, and that is, as you can see, there is this protrusion bit, but that's not supposed to look upwards from the hot end, it's supposed to look downwards because that's the way it mounts to the extruder. Now that you've added your hot end, mount it back to the part we just removed and then screw the three screws we removed earlier. Now mount this part to the rest of the extruder and then screw the four screws that we removed earlier. Now only thing left in the assembly process is adding the NEMA 17 motor. To do this it's pretty simple, just using four screws just screw the mounting plate to the NEMA 17 motor and then screw the flex redrives flexible shaft to the motor shaft using the included grub screws. So that's it for this video. Only thing left for your extruder is to mount it to your 3D printer. I'm not going to cover that in this video because it will be different for every single 3D printer out there and I don't even know if it ships with any mounting plates for any other 3D printer other than my Black Widow. So I'm not going to cover that for these reasons, but it should be pretty straightforward anyways. So I hope you found this video useful, if you did please leave me a like below. Uh, if you are curious about my opinions about the Flex 3 Drive, just stay tuned and subscribe because I'm going to release a review video of the Flex 3 Drive pretty soon. And if you want to see it in action, watch my Black Widow Mods videos playlist.